Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I will show you the refund process. We will take one scenario and uh, explain the supplier or vendor return process in Oracle. Okay. So the scenario where we are going to get a refund from the suppliers, uh, that I am going to explain here. And uh, supplier is ABC Consulting here. You can see here. Okay. So what happens actually? We have uh, made some advance payment to the supplier. Suppose ten thousand. Okay. And uh, because in future we are uh, going to get some uh, uh, good uh, service from that supplier, so that's why we have paid then ten thousand to the supplier. Advance. So, after some time, after one or two months, the supplier, we have taken the service from the supplier, but uh, it's not exactly 10,000, but uh, the invoice amount is 8,000. Okay. So, whatever advance we have made to the supplier, the service we got uh, from the supplier is 8,000. So, there is a difference of 2,000, and uh, that is due on the supplier so that supplier need to refund that amount to us so how we can process this in oracle fusion okay so i have mentioned here the steps to follow here okay uh, normal process so i am not going to like uh, i'll not show you the step by step process in system but i'll show what are the steps you need to follow so that you can uh, go to the system and uh, create each and every steps and uh, see the accounting effects. Uh, you can see here, we have made the supplier advance and uh, what is the accounting entry here? It's, it's asset, it's a prepayment advance to supplier. So the prepayment account is debited 10,000 and liability account is credited. Okay. So now, after some times, so after creating the supplier advance, we have uh, made the payment to the supplier, 10,000. It's a prepayment or advance payment. So liability account here is debited and cash account is credited as usual. Okay. So after some time, supplier are sending the invoice because we have uh, consumed the service from that supplier and uh, the invoice amount is 8,000. So in the case, in this case, uh, what will be the accounting entry for the standard invoice expenses account debited 8000 and liability account will be credited 8000 okay so now as there is an advance on that supplier obviously we have to apply that uh, prepayment to the invoice and uh, what will be the entry here we are not going to pay any more to the supplier just we have to adjust the supplier advance uh, to that uh, standard invoice. So here the liability account will be debited. It's newly fired. Okay. So liability account is debited and now we have applied the prepayment. So prepayment account is credited now 8,000. So 8,000 debit balance of the prepayment is now adjusted. Still we have a debit balance of 2,000 on that supplier. So that supplier need to refund 2,000 okay sorry here supplier need to refund need to refund 2000 so till now it's a normal process right you know what exactly we need to do but uh, here how to process that uh, refund in uh, oracle fusion because still there is a debit balance of prepayment of 2000. So first of all, we have to close that debit balance, right? 2000. So for that, what you can do, you create a dummy invoice with the same supplier. Okay. Create a dummy invoice uh, with the same supplier. Okay. So that dummy invoice will be 
actually to create, we need to create to close that prepayment, debit balance of prepayment. So, what are the entry for the standard invoice? Expenses account debited to liability account credited. And uh, then apply this uh, dummy invoice to the prepayment. So, liability account is again debited and the prepayment account is credited. 2000, right? You know there is a debit balance of uh, 2000 on the suppliers so that is credited now once we apply it to the dummy invoice and the liability account is debited okay but still we have the expense account debit balance expense account is 2000 is debited so now the next step is the now the prepayment account is closed but still in the bank account is not affected because we have to get the refund from the supplier. So what is the next step? Create a credit memo of 2000 for the same supplier. What will be the entry? Liability account will be debited and expenses account will be credited. Okay. So I will start, I will show in the system exactly. Till now you understand what is the flow. So now I will create a credit memo for the supplier. Let me go to the system. Create invoice. Okay. So business unit is US1 business unit. ABC Consulting. And uh, here you have to create a credit memo. The amount is 2000, minus 2000. Because it's a refund and uh, uh, create a credit memo. Number is Minus 2000 So then each tax is calculated. Save. Just have changed the invoice header amount to avoid any variance hold. Included the tax amount. Now validate the invoice. Okay, so invoice is validated. So once the credit memo is validated, uh, let us uh, navigate to payment and create a payment, a refund against this credit memo. So how we can do this? Uh, navigate to payment screen, create one payment. Select your business unit, US1 business unit. Supplier is ABC Consulting. So here the payment type, okay? Payment type you have to select a refund. Because we have to get process a refund from the supplier against the credit memo. The disbursement bank account, Bank of America, payment currency, 
US payment method check so payment document give the payment document name so once you give the header information invoice to pay section select the credit memo you want to apply again switch you want to process the refund so this credit memo we have created okay so this is the credit memo and uh, this will be used to like uh, process the refund from this supplier so test cm2 is selected and uh, we have applied this credit memo save and close So payment 1000 is created. So because after deduction of TDS, the net amount 1900 is showing. Open it. So now invoice is fully paid. Okay. So we have applied the refund transactions against this credit memo. So in this way, in this way you can uh, process the credit memo. So once you apply the credit memo, you can create the accounting for the credit memo and uh, the refund transactions. And everything you will be knocked up now. Like this uh, prepayment will be closed and uh, the bank account also will be debited based on the refund transactions. I hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions or uh, doubt, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video.